But I'm just bored listening to the shit and he say that shit, I say straight up, you gonna be big. Gutter TV. At the time I had Mac Main on there. Okay. Yeah, I had Young Money on there. They were saying gutter TV, fuck him, you heard me? Yeah. And that shit was getting big. But I was like, this shit here might work. So I tried it, right? We're with me. Straight up, you gonna be big. Gutter and the TV. video probably went crazy. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. I think of Gutter TV, man. I think about all the extraordinary things you do. But how did you get that that that, that drop with with that web with that's webby, ain't it? You gonna be Yo. big? How did you how did you end up getting that drop? And how did you know Straight that was up, the one? You gonna be big, uh, Gutter TV. I mean, I just I just be knowing that type of shit. Like, what makes sense? But I was chilling at Webby House. We were just smoking, chilling. It wasn't no filming type of shit. We was just, we were just smoking, chilling, talking. But the shit we got to talking about, I'm like, man. I was like, damn, I wish it was a way to record this shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it'd be cameras on the um on, yeah, on, on, your, the, on computer. the computer. That's right. And I have my laptop everywhere I go. Yeah, me too. So boom, I whip out the laptop. I just sat it on his studio board and think hit, hit that, that little up. hit that little uh not even you know the little camera photo booth or whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, I yeah, hit yeah. record. And shit, he ran for probably about you know that shit record forever. Yeah, it it's do. like three hours worth of footage. Wow. One day I'm just bored you listening to the shit. Yeah, I still got all that, but I'm just bored listening to the shit. And he say that shit, I say straight up, on. you gonna be big. Gutter TV. At the time I had Mac Main on there. Okay. Yeah, I had Young Money on there. They was saying Gutter TV, fuck him. You heard me? Yeah. And that shit was getting big, but I was like, this shit here might work. So I tried it, right? We're with me. Straight up, you gonna be big. Gutter and the TV. video probably went crazy. And I was like, damn. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it again. And I was like, man, really? This is just Straight it. Up, this is it. We're gonna keep big. running Gutter with it. Hell, I just kept going with it. Hell. I love it, man. Because every time I hear it, man, it's just something about it. I'm like, that's, yeah, that's gonna be But you know, I be saying that's God, too, because my whole life, I've I been wanting to be on some motivational shit, too. You feel me? So. Straight up, you like look what he did for me. He gave me a drop that's more inspiring, you know, inspiring than than anything. Like people see wow. me and say that and go crazy. How did you meet Webby though? How did you end up meeting him? When I in Little Rock, I used to book shows. Okay, so I used to bring him to Little Rock. Yep. And so, and then y'all got so tight that you end up in Bay when I was staying. Now, nah, when I was staying in Atlanta. Okay, it's a deep story. I'm the, listening. That uh, shit. All right. <laughs> I'm staying in Atlanta. I'm having some trouble where I'm staying at, paying rent and shit. Yeah. Cause I'm out there trying to figure it out at the moment, right? Life. So my partner come in my room one day. But at the time I'm lit in Atlanta. I just got here. I'm probably four, six months in Atlanta. But I'm lit. Yeah, they loving you. Man, if gutter ain't at your spot, it you, ain't you ain't doing shit right now. So I'm, but I'm having a little trouble trying to figure out how to make the money from everything I'm doing. Exactly. So uh, my partner who I'm staying with one day, he blessed me with the crib. He uh he busts in the room one day like, bro, it's the eighth, bro. We gotta pay the rent. He like, God damn, bro. He like, he like, bro. All these people, come on, bro, figure something out. He said, hey, come on, help me out, bro. He said, all these people, you know. He say, all these people you know, come on, man, somebody can help you come up with this shit. I ain't need nothing about three, four hundred dollars. I ain't no nigga that to talk to like that. Okay. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And I'm a hustler. So like I always hustled my whole life. But when I I took a chance going to the A. Yeah. Feel me? I gave up the trap. You gotta jump. Sometime. Like I said, even my partner at the time when I moved, he was like, You crazy. Say, you stupid. Like we got into a real fist fight. I can call a nigga right now. He'll tell you like Oh yeah, I called that nigga stupid. I was like, cause I was up. But I was like, man, I'm finna go to the A. And I just moved. You feel me? But yeah. saying all that to say shit, uh, I was doing uh bad. My partner was like, uh, hey bro, figure something out. So I get to going through my phone when he closed the door. And I'm really like, man, I wanna go in there and fight the nigga. Yeah. This my nigga Dane Dash. And I'm like, man, I wanna go in there and fight the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm hot. I'm like, nigga came in and tried to check me or some shit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. like, nigga, and I ain't no nigga be tripping over no three, four hundred dollars. So I ain't used to that. Yeah. It's just I ain't I ain't got it at the time. So yeah. it's it's hitting me like, damn, the shit fucked up. So at the moment though, I'm like, he right though. When I sat down and laid in the bed, I was like, damn, that nigga right. I'm a grown ass man. I'm only like twenty two or something. Yeah. But I'm like, damn, I'm laying in the bed. 
and I ain't got, you know what I'm saying? I can't do this. With so boom, I get to, he say, go through your phone or something, nigga. That's what he said before he closed the door. So boom, I'm really thinking, I go through my phone. I get to go and I start it, hey. It's crazy to this day I do this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Some dope, real play dope, shit. Dope. This shit is genius. Give up too. the game. But I I I started at A and everybody that I hit just wasn't saying what I wanted to say. But when I got down to W, which is Webby, I'm saying to myself before I call him, like, I'm down to W shit. It's on. It's it's over. Like, yeah, God damn, it's I ain't, on. I ain't got I'm nothing. Be, my stomach gonna be touching my back. I didn't even go home. So <laughs> like, and I'm like, Webby, Webby, I, I didn't met Webby a few times. So I'm like, man, Webby ain't the one finna respond how I want him to respond. Yeah. You feel me, bro, real. He just gutter. He just gutter. Yeah. But when I called him, he said, I said, hey, bro, I need to get on the road with you or something. I need to do something. I need to make some money. That nigga said, it's a true story, too. This is just how I called him. As soon as he answered, because I didn't expect him to answer. I was like, hey, I need to get on the road with you or something, bro. I need to do something. He said, what you want to do? I said, man, I don't know. I said, nigga, I just need to get on the road with you or something. You feel me? I need to make some money. That nigga said, man, holla at big boy. I don't know nothing about all this shit. You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, I'm going to send you a number. He gave me a number. And I'm like, this nigga gave me a security guard number? What the fuck I'm going to do with a security guard number? You know what I'm saying? Like, but I ain't gonna lie, I called the number, end up chopping it up with him. The nigga say, meet him at the mall. I meet him at the mall, at Lennox Mall in Atlanta. Yeah. And it was Big Mel. He owned Trill Entertainment. And she, we just locked, locked in. in. And he started, you know, pretty much um, come up with a budget and say, let's, we gonna rock out. He put me on the road with Lil Fat, his son. And then yeah. he put me on the road with Webby. Shit, I was just, I was doing everything. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.